So guys, um, Amir Khan uh, says that he's only got a couple years left in the sport or a couple fights, sorry, not a couple years, a couple fights left in the sport. Um, it's never good when you start hearing things like this from a fighter because what that shows is, is that he's ready, you know, to call it a day or, you know, he knows that he hasn't got much time left in the sport because, you know, his, maybe his skill set or, you know, his body is telling him that he, you know, he no longer can do this sport for a long time. You know, he's, when a fighter's already semi-retired, uh, they say that you might as well retire because, you know, you're going, you're going into fights with that mentality, which is never helpful, you know, in such a tough sport. Now, with, with Amir Khan, I think he's realised that the fights that he wanted with Pacquiao Mayweather are not going to happen. So now he wants to probably leave the sport, you know, against the top, like against the guys that are currently uh, at the top of the game, like Crawford, like the Spence. He would probably love to go out, you know, with a win against any of those guys. And obviously he'd love to fight Kell Brook because that would be his biggest, financially his biggest fight. Um... Obviously, those fights with, with Crawford and Spence, it'd be very hard for him to win. He'd be a massive underdog. And if he pulls that off, that would be a, a brilliant, brilliant win for him. And most people, like I said, would have him a massive underdog against those guys. Um, but I feel like he could beat Crawford. I think that, I think, how, however hard people think that fight is for Khan, I think stylistically he matches up well against Crawford. Um... I've had a change of heart. Don't get me wrong. I would love to see Amir Khan fight Crawford. Uh, I think stylistically he can do well against Crawford. But personally, I think he's got to take the Kell Brook fight next now. I, I just feel that after that performance, I think Kell Brook's on the slide. No matter what Eddie Earn and they say that he went to his le that other guy's level, I just think Kell Brook's on the slide massively. And on that performance, I think Khan could even stop Kell Brook. And I think Khan's got to roll the dice and think, you know what? I've got to fight this guy because he looked, he looked, he looked like a shot fighter in his last fight. And surely Amir Khan now, thinking with his speed, he can get rid of Kell Brook because Kell Brook can't. Although Kell Brook's quite tough, he can't afford to take that many shots of Amir Khan because he'll be throwing combination punches at him. Uh, five, four, five, six punches are going to be coming at Kell Brook, so. He can't afford to get hit as easily he got hit as against that guy. So I do I would make Khan a favourite in that fight. And I think Amir Khan needs to probably take the Kell Brook fight and then beat Kell Brook and then go on to the Terence Crawford fight. Because if you if you can't beat Kell Brook the way Kell Brook's looking, then you're definitely not gonna beat Terence Crawford. I think that, you know, the way you do it, firstly you'd fight Kell Brook for a huge amount of big payday that you won't get in the Crawford fight. You beat Kell Brook and then fight Terence Crawford for an even bigger payday. Now, I don't know whether Bob Arum would be willing to up that uh, $5 million, you know, a lot more if he beats Kell Brook, because obviously his profile on the win of a Kell Brook fight would be huge, right? Because it, it definitely do probably 60,000, 70,000 um, stadium. Now, people think that Kell Brook Khan won't do that, won't be such a big fight in terms of how many tickets it can sell. I think it can do 80,000. I think it's that big, but I don't know whether they're gonna go outdoors with that fight. I think they're gonna. It's, it's probably gonna be um, an indoor event if they do it in March or April, which it's kind of disappointing because I think that fight at one time could have probably done hundred thousand. But that's the thing. What that's what the way I think Khan should do it. I think Khan should fight Kell Brook, beat Kell Brook, and then jump into a massive fight with, you know. Crawford or whoever he can get his hands on in work on the world title and that might be Khan done. Khan might have two fights left uh, Maybe one if he doesn't get past Brook uh, But I, I do strongly feel that Amir Khan will get past Kell Brook, especially on Kell Brook's last performance I think Khan beats him if I'm totally honest, but you never know, you know boxing's um, Nothing's ever certain um, but I, I I do feel that he can beat Kell Brook and then go on to fight one of the top boys and, and then call it a day no matter what the result. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. What do you make of Amir Khan saying that, you know, he's only got a couple fights left in the sport? Leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.